a comment or a point before we actually begin. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. If that's okay. So I just wanted to make um, some public comments and put it on the record. Um, after seeing Minister Stephen Donnelly give a contribution in the Shannage yesterday, which I felt when I saw it, I actually nearly didn't believe it. And a combination of, I suppose, emotions came forward, upset, anger, frustration, and annoyance. And I would say that they're the most parliamentary uh, language suitable words that I, that I can use. Um, and I was just thinking of all of the families who've been waiting on legislation to recognise their children that have been born through surrogacy, how they must have felt, if that's how I felt about the situation. Um, I think his comments were absolutely appalling and shocking, and I think we really need to know exactly what our role and remit is in relation to this committee. We all came onto this committee wanting to genuinely make a difference, and I would think that regardless of people's views on surrogacy, that everybody on this committee actually wants to see the children that have been born already and that we all know and love in our communities, that at least the, all of the retrospection and recognition would be handled and would be dealt with. And families, as I said, have been given hope. And I certainly know from my situation as a TD, any parliamentary question that I asked, I was always kind of pointed to that this committee would be set up. And so then I was delighted to be able to be a part of the committee. So I would like the Minister Stephen Donnelly to come into this committee next week at our meeting on the 9th of June. I would like him to clarify exactly what the position of him and the Department of Health are in relation to this committee. And I would like a guarantee and a reassurance before we draft our report that our recommendations are going to be taken on board, that this is not a talking shop, that this is not a tick the box exercise, and that in fact, what we recommend will be included in the AHR, which is the Assisted Human Reproduction Bill. I think it's absolutely vital. And I think he also needs to acknowledge the, the hurt and the upset that he has caused for many families. And I also would like to say, that I am absolutely sick of people trying to say that the creation of this committee is somehow delaying the AHR bill, which, can I just remind people, has been a pre ledge stage in 2017, which is five years ago. This committee, which actually is working extremely well and extremely effectively, is not delaying the AHR bill in any way, shape or form. And I would also like him to clarify that. And I think he needs to do that in our public session next week. And uh, I just want to reiterate that my experience of people on this committee is that we are all committed to ensuring that legislation is drafted to recognise those families and that ch those children. It's long, long overdue. And I just, I nearly couldn't believe what I witnessed yesterday. I wasn't actually physically there, but when I saw it, I just was absolutely shocked and appalled. And I think it's unbelievably dis disingenuous. And, you know, I think it's disrespectful. We are his colleagues at the end of the day in this Oireachtas. And I think he has totally undermined our position. And I would like all of that clarified. And apologies for delaying the meeting.